Hi, I am Helle. Today I will take a look at an expansion for my book, and this is a standalone expansion, Battlefruit Kingdom. It is for two players and takes 15 to 25 minutes to play, and it's for the ages 8 plus. This is a preview copy I have of the game. The game will come on Game Fund on the 16th of uh, April. I will put a link in the description. I will give you a rules overview of the game and uh, then I will take a closer look at the, the different cards we have with this one. And also we will take a look at some new abilities they have added with this expansion. There are 48 creature cards in this expansion. You have two mindbox cards. These tokens do not come with the game, but you can use any tokens for life points. Each player will start the game with 10 cards and you're going to have five to your hand and then a draw pile with five cards. Then three life tokens, you can use cards for it, and you have two mindbox cards. And that is the setup for the game. The goal of the game is to make your opponent lose all of their life. Then you would win the game. On your turn, you can play a card from your hand, or you can instead choose to attack with one of your creatures from your play area. When you play a card from your hand and your opponent, they have a mindbox card, then your opponent has to decide if they want to use a mindbox card to take control of the card you just played. If they use a mindbox card, then they will put the played card into their play area and resolve any effect on it, as if they had played the card. Then they will remove the mindbox card from the game. They will not get that one back. The player that played the card, they will draw one more card to the hand, so they have five cards to the hand, and then they will take another turn. If the opponent didn't use a mindbox card, then you would have received the card, and then it would be the opponent's turn. Instead of playing a card, then you can choose one of your creatures and attack your opponent. They can choose to block your attack with one of their played creatures, or instead of blocking, they can choose to lose a life. If they choose to block, then the creature with the lowest value will be defeated. And there might be some abilities that can alter what is going to happen. But normally the creature with the highest number is going to win, and this one would have been defeated. Then it would go to the discard pile for that player, and the other one will go back to the play area. If the creatures, they have the same value, then they will both be defeated. There are some abilities on the cards that can alter with how you are going to resolve the battles. There is a new ability with this expansion called Fast. Cards with this fast ability, when they come into play, you may choose to attack with it. And with this one, we would gain a life, and then we would attack, and they could block it or choose to lose a life. Next new thing that comes with these expansions is Octonite Counters. And on some cards, they have Octonite, an Octonite icon with a number. They come into play with that many Octonite Counters on them. On these cards, there is a Harvest effect, which is activated when the last counter is removed from the card. At the start of a player's turn, they have to remove one Octonite Counter from all of their cards and then they have to resolve the harvest effect if the last counter was removed. In this case, you could defeat an enemy creature. If more cards have had the last counter removed, the player can choose the order to activate the harvest effect on the cards. Either first this one and then this, or this one and then this. So on your turn, you first have to remove one Octonite counter from all cards you have in your play area, and then activate Harvest for any cards that had the last counter removed. You can choose to play a card from your hand to your play area, or you can choose to use one of your cards to attack. And if you have a Mindbox card and a player plays down a card, then you can choose if you want to use your Mindbox card to take control of that creature. And you will play until a player has lost all of their life. Let's just have a quick look at all the different cards. And I really like the illustrations on the cards. I think they are fun and also the names, they are, they are fun. Um, 
So you have the different abilities on the cards and the uh, cherries. <laughs> yeah, I, they, they are fun. They are fun, these. Really like them. Red radish, fennel, sneaky. There is some fun designs, illustrations on these cards. And this is of course with the new ability, when you get this, you would have to put this and then you have the harvest effect. Defeat any creature when you remove the last token. Hondine tough, poisonous, oysters, pepperwing, prime fungus. So, and then you have the fast one where you can attack when you play the card. Yes, and then you can gain two life. You can go over the, the start of three life, so you can have more than that. And when you attack, you're going to get a life. And there are three of the cards, there are two of. I really think this is a great two-player game. And I especially like the thing you have with the mind box cards because they really do mess with your mind. I mean, you have to make tough decisions in which card you're going to play because you don't want to play your very best card because you know if your opponent, they have a mind box card that they could mind box the card you have. So you want to save, you want to save your really good cards until they don't have, the, until they have used both of their mind box cards. And uh, also on the other hand, when your opponent, they play down a, a creature, then you have to decide, do you want to mind bug their card and summon that creature to your play area? And then you would get the benefit of their ability with the creature. So it's a fast little fun game uh, and with tough decisions for when you're going to use your mind bug cards and when you're going to play your different cards. Sometimes you will have cards and you're like, I don't want to play any of them because I don't want my opponent to steal the card from me, to mind bug it and take control of the creature that we have. Yeah, so I, I really enjoy this game. And uh, this is an expansion. It's a standalone game, so you can play it without the, the base game. But if you have the base game, then you can combine, you can combine the base game with this expansion. And the, another thing, this is a very small box. So this is a great travel game. So if you're on travel and you want some, a little quick game with you, then this would be perfect for that. So this is just such an intense little game that is going to mess with your mind. And it's absolutely great. And uh, I do have a playthrough of the base game up on my channel. I will put a link in the description where I've played a game with my beautiful daughter, Line. So if you want to learn more about how the normal abilities, they work, not the new abilities that come with this expansion, then you can go and watch our video with the base game. But there we will explain all of the other abilities. But that was my look at this great little expansion for Mindbug. Thanks for watching.